Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week in one of our most recent polls, once again, I asked you a question. And that question was, what operating system do you use on a daily basis and you consider your primary OS? Out of the 1.2 thousand votes cost to date, as you can see, uh, Windows 11, which didn't come as a surprise because we do focus mainly on Windows on this channel. Windows 11 came in first place, 64%, followed by Windows 10, 22%. Then followed in third place by Linux, so that's your different distros, Mint, Ubuntu, um, and so on, 7%. Mac OS, next at 5%, and then Windows 8 or 7, 2%, which came in in last place. And Windows 8 and Windows 7 didn't surprise me coming in last place, because obviously, out of this poll, um, these operating systems are unsupported and have reached their end of life. And um, although I do know that Windows 7, as an example, remains a popular operating system, and that's from comments on this channel, um, a lot of uh, viewers do still use Windows 7. Um, the main reason it came in at 2% was because, obviously, it's no longer supported. Now, um, this poll is very similar to a previous poll I did conduct about a month ago, which is the better operating system. And just to kind of line the two up, they are very similar. Um, this had 1.1 thousand votes to date, and as you can see, once again, Windows 11 was in first place, 64%, compared to Windows 10 with 36%. And I'm just showing you this um, because I actually did post a whole video on this poll, and I'll leave that down below, but just kind of falls in line that um, most viewers of this channel um, are using Windows 11 and do prefer Windows 11. And that, as mentioned, it's no surprise because we do fo focus more on Windows um, yeah, at Brentech. Now, what I thought we could do now, um, just to finish off this poll, is um, just to give you my personal take on a couple of things. Um, nothing mind-blowing, just uh, nothing you know, um, comprehensive, just my personal take on one or two um, components and aspects of this poll when it comes to the different operating systems featured. Now, from a personal point of view, um, I have used mainly Windows 10, Windows 11, and Linux, although I have used... Um, to some extent or the other, all of the different operating systems featured, as I'm sure you have. And when it comes to Linux, just to focus on that just a little bit, because I don't really talk about Linux too much. And I did post some Linux videos when I first started this um, channel. But just to talk about that at first, um, I personally um, dual boot my Windows 10 laptop with Linux Mint. I do prefer Linux Mint. Um, it's my favorite Linux distro. And so when I boot up my Windows um, 10 device, I have the option to boot into Linux Mint or into Windows 10. And I have used um, the following distros personally. I've used Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Elementary OS, Pop OS, KDE, Zorin OS, Bode Linux, Linux Lite. Those are the main distros I have used. Um, I have used about six or seven others, but these are the main distros I have used on a personal level. And just on a side note, if you are looking for a good alternative um, to um, and for Windows. If you want to move away from Windows and are wanting to move into the Linux world, then personally, I would recommend Linux Mint, um, Zorin OS, and Linux Lite. They operate very similar, and the layout is very similar um, compared to Windows, so I think you'd grasp those three distros the best if you are moving, if you are moving away from uh, Windows into the so-called Linux world. And... Uh, um, when it comes to the poll, um, the question I asked was, what do you consider your primary OS? Um, I do use uh, Windows 10 as my daily driver when it comes to Windows. Um, although I do um, post a whole lot of videos featuring Windows 11, that's because of the channel. But personally, I still use Windows 10. Um, I just like the, the flow of the operating system and the layout. Um, it just works for me, so I'll just stay there for now. And then I think this next statement might get me into a little bit of trouble. Um, but I'm going to say it anyway because it is my personal opinion and you can take it with a pinch of salt if you want to. Um, if I wasn't focusing so much on Windows for this channel, you know, the Windows world, the Google world, the browser world, um, and obviously now I have my devices set up for the purpose of this channel, but if I wasn't and Brentech wasn't around, um, this is how I would have my personal operating system set up. This is how I would have it. I personally would have Linux Mint, as my daily driver. I would have a stripped down version of Linux Mint and I would basically run everything through my web browser um, uh, into and through the cloud. And my web browser would either be Google Chrome and or Brave. And that's how I have my Linux Mint 
kind of set up um, that I dual boot my Windows 10 device with, as mentioned. So that's how I would have my personal daily driver. If Brentech wasn't around, I would have Linux Mint stripped down with um, everything working through the cloud and no um, almost no local software and apps installed. That's just um, how I would have it personally. And um, what I do like about Windows, um, and that's why I think I kind of focused on this channel with Windows. I know I did post a couple of Linux videos and when I first started the channel, but why I do kind of like Windows and I focus on Windows for this channel is because you know what you're getting. Um, I have found with Linux, there's an um, untold amount of um, open source software. So you kind of, um, you know, you, 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 there's so many different choices in some certain circumstances. Um, you can't really make up your mind. But with Windows, you kind of know what you're getting. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's limited in your s kind of software choice. So you know what you're getting. And that's why I like Windows, because it's kind of limited. And it isn't like open source. And although um, obviously you get your pros and your cons of that, that's just my personal take on why I kind of um, do um, the Windows thing with Brentech. And uh, um, over and above that, guys, um, when it comes to Mac OS, um, my wife uses Mac OS. Um, I have used it um, in a work scenario, but I just kind of pref I've just um, kind of avoid Mac OS. Um, it's it just doesn't flow naturally with me. So I just avoid it because I like to be in a natural flow when I'm working on my operating system. So that's why I don't really focus too much on Mac OS. Um, I don't flow naturally with Mac OS. And when it comes to um, Windows 7 and Windows 8, um, I actually didn't really use too much of this on a personal level. I did use Windows 7 and 8 in a corporate environment, but um, I kind of missed this personally. I moved straight from Windows XP to Windows 10 and um, a bit of a strange setup there, but that's a video for another day. But nonetheless, I missed Windows 7, Windows 8, went straight from XP to Windows 10 personally. And that's it. That's just my personal take, my personal take on one or two aspects of this poll. And that's falling in line with um, that poll. Um, what operating system do you use on your on, on a daily basis and you consider your primary OS? 64% um, of you said you prefer Windows 11. And as I mentioned, that didn't come as a surprise because we obviously focus mainly on Windows on this channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.